Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Alm Gone Wild with Shen. How's it going, Shen? It's going all right. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a little bit confined. I'm feeling, uh... Oh, uh, Alm that? Gone Tame? What, <laughs> what is it called when you're claustro claustrophobic? That's what it is. I'm feeling yeah. cornered here, surrounded by this yeah, we big were, blue blob next to us. We were trying to go on spring break so we could go wild, but instead we ended up just staying in like, I don't know, Tennessee... <laughs> some mall downtown and it was like not very wild and yeah well no, we need to we need to make it to spring break let's go let's do well, this it, it's been 20 years arimba what, what, do we, what do we have to show for our 20 years in game <laughs> sagging oh there goes byzantium <laughs> bye bye autumn is just time. declared but yeah Brittany's invading england i'm excited about this because they've already taken out uh, a fort and they're they're sieging the last fort right now I don't think England's going to be very strong in this campaign. Well, England's the England the, the English capital is being sieged down by no like, like rebels of some sort. I don't recognize that mm -hmm. indicator. That looks like the Lollards. They're Lollard heretics, yeah. So well, why does it why is it if if they siege a province down, then it'll tell you which heretics are sieging them down. But while they are in the siege progress, if you mouse over the flag, all it says is quote unquote rebels. Yeah, because reasons. <laughs> we, we we've talked about this. <laughs> It's just goofy. Oh, Portugal's dying. Castile's got rebels that they're not dealing with for some reason. I'm just watching the favors for Switzerland. That's all I care about right now. Just oh. sitting here watching the papers. My cat Phobos has just joined the conversation. He's meowing at me. But yeah, favors with uh, Switzerland. When did, when did we say that was going to be there? March of 65, I think. You know, we might actually tech up to tech six before Bavaria hits tech five. Fine with me. I mean, look at this. We are looking at, we're ahead of time right now. Mm -hmm. It says it's going to cost 700 points, but in January, it's going to come down to 640. And we already have 530. Like, we're, we're knocking this out pretty damn quick. England will cede Calais to Burgundy. England will cede Normandy to Brittany. And release Wales. Hi, Wales. Welcome. Salzburg has rivaled Bavaria. Salzburg would take an alliance. Not yet. It would. Oh, they, yeah, but they, they probably would. Well, he has a truce anyway. Yeah, he doesn't matter just yet. Well, no, no. Yeah, no, no you're right. He's the same truce time as Platinet. And the Lollard heretics now are definitely fully occupying the English capital. Yeah, England's army, I think they died. I think the heretics killed them. All right, I think we need to raise maintenance. I really think that this favors... Has it, how long has it been? I think that... Do you see Vienna? Really I found the English army. Look at Vienna. Vienna. Uh huh. Vienna. How do you spell Vienna? Do you know where Vienna is? It's the capital it's, of Austria. Oh, I. It's not Vienna. It's W I E N. I know. That's just because it's. It's Wien. It's it's a German spelling of the word. Okay. Anyway. In the German spelling. It's not Vienna. There's no A at the end. Okay. Let's let's. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The the. The Pomeranians, they got crushed by the Teutonic Order. Look at Teutonic Order now. <laughs> oh my god, that was good. I thought it was going to be the opposite. I thought Pomeranian was going to full annex the Teutons. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're right. There are 23,000 troop, English troops in Steermark right now. So or for some reason, some... he sent his entire army to Austria. Do you have some other fancy way of saying Steermark? Is it like Steermarka? I don't with know. With an A at the end? Do you want to keep our dude again? Another term? Eduard? I would like to keep I, him. I pretty much always reelect. Okay. Yeah. Unless they... We have 10 favors with Switzerland. Okay, pause Pause for this momentous occasion. <laughs> Will he join? Some, some books, book market, book marker guy somewhere. Okay, Nuremberg is in on favors. Switzerland's in on favors. And Bohemia's in on territory promise. I think we can call Nuremberg in. And, uh, they want territory, so we should call them in on territory. Call them in. You want to keep the favors? But the thing is, we're not going to give them land, are we? No, but I'm expecting his participation to be so small that uh, we won't actually be required to give him land. Oh, so if you promise them land and they don't participate much, like 10% or less, then they won't be upset if you don't give them land? Yeah, I'll oh. just read you. The, if you win the war and do not give them their fair share of the peace treaty, they will be very upset. Oh, okay. So if they only have like 5 or 10% participation, they expect 5 or 10% of the war score spent on territory to be spent on them gaining land. Ah, well, they can so, screw off then. All right. Yep. Yep. Worst case scenario, we give them one so land and we give 
Don't declare mm -hmm. yet because we don't have morale. You might want to raise the funding. Can we beat all of these five countries? Memmingen, Wurtemberg. You're asking Wurtemberg. a silly question. Of course we can. We we invade them, we siege them down, and we piece them out individually. Yes, we can beat them. I think we might want to wait for Tech 6. Hi it's hi. so close. It's so close. Look at how close it is. Can you, can you at least increase our funding? Fine, but Tech 6. Hi hi. Tech we can, six. We can do tech six during the war. Yeah, that that's true. So if we do this, then we we immediately probably want to move on Württemberg. Stack wipe that. Württemberg, yes, because there's uh, well, we have two maneuver on that general. So oh, are we gonna switch in our leader? He's a better fire general. Or you want to keep the double maneuver guy? Um, I think it depends on whether or not they have a maneuver general in charge. Because there is a river between Ulm and Württemberg. Ulm. Yeah, I don't know. So if they put a like a one maneuver general in charge, I'd rather have the maneuver to avoid the shock penalty. I guess we but can take they... a look as soon as we declare. Whoa. Yeah. Burgundy just declared on Provence again. Yeah. Nice. I mean, I wish I wish the AI would actually care about their mission. He takes the mission to conquer Liège, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to declare on this other guy instead. So which province do you think is going to be easier for us to siege? Probably Ansbach. Well, they're both bad terrain. There's a lot of rivers. Probably Ingolstadt would be a better defensive position for us. But no, we're not going to win by sieging like one province and sitting on it. We're going to win by piecing everyone out. Yeah, Bullock piecing all the little miners out. Definitely. The problem is, if we let Bohemia get all the battles, he's going to have so much participation. He's going to demand so much land. But he only wants one province. So I think that's the only one he'd be interested in. Really? You think so? I'm hoping. <laughs> that's uh, a just good so policy. you know, we could tech up right now. We have a tactics advantage. Do you want to just tech up and declare the war right now? I think so, yeah. All right. I think Do I'd it. rather not wait. Do it. Do it. Do it. We're Do full it. maintenance. Do it. Okay, we've teched up. That gives us 0.25 more tactics, more combat width. Infantry fire, infantry shock. We build a barracks. We're not gonna build a barracks. All right, are you ready? Are we well, doing this? Well, it's up to you. Do you want to call in Nuremberg on favors, or do you want yeah. to spend? No, no, no. we're territory. gonna do the, we're gonna do the territory on them. We're gonna say, hey, we're we're gonna promise you territory, but like you said, his participation is gonna be crap. So most likely, we don't have to give him anything. Even if we do have to give him anything, we'll give him uh, Regensburg, right? Because we want Anspach. Okay, I just did it. We're doing it. All right, so you called in all three of our allies. Yeah. And what we're going instantly two? on... He has a one maneuver guy, so we keep our two maneuver guy to avoid the river. Okay. Gotta be quick. Wurzburg's this coming over. Yeah, this should be a stack wipe right away. I don't know. Bavaria's on the way. Depends well, on our shock roll. Shock roll, if, come on. We roll okay, hold one. On. I think we need to, re, to shattered retreat as soon as we can. Okay. Or not shatter, but controlled retreat. On the 24th, we retreat to Bohemia's capital. Okay. If it'll let us. Oh, look at that. We actually rolled really well there. But yeah, no, Bohemia's gonna... Sorry, Bavaria's gonna kill our army if we if we stay in this fight. So we gotta wait one more day. Oh, no, we won! <laughs> but that, that got our morale uh, up. Do a um, consolidate here. Okay, how many maneuver does he have? Check mark maneuver. on. Okay, so he's actually got to reinforce uh, a penalty now. Okay, come on, give us the nine we needed in the shock phase here. We got well, a tactics he, advantage. He got, a, he got an eight and then he got a nine. We're gonna lose this. And then we got a he got a nine again, and then he and got we a both zero. Got zeros. Okay, at least we were able to shatter away. Okay. Yeah, that was kind direction. of that was kind of poopy. You know, we just we just can't get good rolls. That's what this campaign's all about. Just crap rolls. <laughs> No good rolls can be had. Let's hide. We're just going to hide in the mountains for a little while. Okay. And wait yeah. for Bavaria to come with their 24 stack. Well, the problem is Bavaria is sieging the land he wants. So? And Bavaria cannot get by that fort. They have to siege the fort of Landshut before they can help us. So perhaps we should go over there to Landshut. That army's getting really close to us. 27,000 troops. I think we want to go here. Yeah, Grabodin is better. We want to hide in the river. Mountainous river. 
If they want to come fight us, they can come fight us. But we're going to hang out in this mountain. And we're just going to let Bohemia siege stuff down. So Nuremberg sieged down the one thing that they asked for. I just updated our desires so that that uh, Bo Bohemia can't change it and say, oh, I want this land too now. So they'll just transfer anything else they siege to us. Switzerland's looking like they're probably going to get stack wiped, but we can't really afford to reinforce them. And we're getting attacked on the Goodness. 21st. Got to shift consolidate. It's going to be a bad fight, but hey, we're in the mountains. God damn, they have so many troops. Oh man, look at our starting morale. It's so bad. Of course, he's going to roll fives and sixes and sevens and Let's get who knows here. what. That's as far as we could retreat to. Okay, better than nothing. We've got to go try to me merge up. Uh-oh. Battle in womb. That's not good. Oh god, our morale is so low. Okay, good. No, 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 no. no. Oh, good. Oh god. No, no, no. Nope. no. We're, we're stuck no matter where we go. Hmm. Rumba, this is bad. Well, Bohemia's trying. <laughs> where is Bohemia? Force. I don't see his They're army. They're hanging out in the damn oh. mountain of... God. He's in the stupid wrong province. Fort. It's a stupid fort. <sighs> I think I think Bohemia can beat that army. Okay, they, I they... retreated. I retreated to Bohemia's army, so we have his army protection now. Excellent, and we have the men put reinforced. We just need time, months and months and months and months. That's a lot of attrition, though. We're not going to reinforce at all. Well, we're going to reinforce twenty percent and spend 50% of their normal amount on attrition. We can't have this large of an army here. But we can't leave. <laughs> wow. That's really bad, Shen. It is. But, hey, at least the maybe. Fort of Landschutz about to fall. Yeah, maybe. I think it's going to get killed right now by Bavaria. I think that's where that army's going. Oh, yep. you're right. Oh, man. So, okay, we were right to try to call Bohemia in. Bohemia is a good ally. The problem is we he completely forgot He couldn't forts. reach us, yeah. Completely forgot about those zones of control. Planet needs help in Trier. Uh-oh. I think we have to honor the call. All right, Platinet is at war with Trier, Cologne, and Munster. Can we really afford to honor this? By the way, Bohemia's abandoning us. I love having the check mark on. He's like, screw you. Okay, so apparently he can get to our territory. Yeah, he was just he just didn't want to help us. That's all. Understandably so. So are we joining this war or not? I don't know. We we can't even We we can't even like get to where he's going. And now he's doing a fight that we can't possibly Let's just hang out in our capital. Where we have a hill's defense bonus, get our full recovery, no attrition. This, this war is horrible. That's a lost battle. I think we have to honor the call. Okay. I don't think we can afford the 25 prestige yet. I just cannot believe how many dominoes have fallen against us. Well, Nuremberg is hiding in Bohemia. Switzerland's hiding in their own territory. We might want to run to Switzerland, by the way, so that we don't get attacked. We're just in a mm -hmm. situation where we can't, we can't get all of our armies together. Yep. And no one's no one's respecting our check mark, so they're not going to help us. I think the reason they're not respecting it is because their army's too large. Possibly, yeah. Like, they, they do this stupid thing where they're like, oh yeah, we'll follow you if our army's small enough to support the supply limit. But if it's too large, well then screw the supply limit, we're going to march around with 5% attrition. Like, they just, they don't care if it's their own army. Aragon just vassalized Albania? What? I've never seen that. Oh, wow. Switzerland's actually getting attacked. And he's in a province with no defense. He's in a freaking no, farmland can't help. province. We can't go there. <sighs> Gosh. No, the, there's absolutely zero reason for him to be there. It's like the worst possible place he could be. He was in the mountains. We had our check mark on. And he decided to just go sit. Oh, we're getting attacked. Okay, I'm getting attacked on the 17th of July. So, yeah, shift consolidate. And uh, we'll just do the best we can here. Oh, go hide. We're out number three to get, one. You're going to get flanked like crazy because we don't have enough combat width for the whole mountain. Of course, he rolls a seven. He rolled, he rolled two zeros already, but it's yep. not going to matter. 
I'm seeing him rolling a 6 versus our 3 and a 7 versus our 1. Okay, I've retreated to Bohemia. Now, how come you could retreat to Bohemia that way this time? Because someone to... someone, took, someone got access in Austria. <laughs> oh, it's because of our second war. Trier has access in Austria. Okay. So our second war helped us out there. Man, this is a frustrating situation that we're in. It is, but now that we're next to Bohemia's army, we can sort of control things a little better. But I think Switzerland's a lost cause. Although, if the AI spends time sieging up Switzerland, that gives us time to go siege up B Bavaria or or Würzburg or someone, get someone out of the war. Mm -hmm. I love how England's army is still in Vienna. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't care. He doesn't care. This is, and he's not even occupied in his capital with the, the rebels, though, so... No, we're going to have a very hard time reinforcing this army up to full. Uh, it's going to take months and months and months. If, if Bohemia has a good fight, like Bohemia's, fortunately, Bohemia's enthusiasm is really high. Yeah. But. Is he getting attacked in Landshut? They were. No, he got out. Me. Okay. Oh, he's attacking now, in Landshut. Are you kidding me, Bohemia? Wow. No, it's, it's, it's planes. It's not bad. If only he had tech six. I mean, it's 26 on 12 in planes. He took he's a already river at crossing. 40% participation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, it is what it is. All right, hey, so that's, see, a, that's see, a good battle. Uh, see, now look, uh, Nuremberg is attached to us because our army is small enough. Oh, goodness, that battle is going to be awful. Here comes Bavaria. I think we need to reinforce this fight. Even it's over. It's, it's 18 versus 31. It's over. No, we got to go back to where he's going to shatter then. <laughs> this is such a bad situation. Turns out being an OPM is difficult. When you're when landlocked you... like this, yeah. I did, I had no, no trouble no, no, no. like this as Hamburg. No, no, no. I don't think it's about being an OPM because I successfully started off as Albania and kicked ass. Yeah, it's because you're not landlocked. Right. And and part of it as well, and this is, I think, maybe even a more significant factor, is that Austria falling into a PU under France just screwed everything. Yes, it did. It Bavaria really should did. Not, not be this strong. It's basically like us fighting Austria. Like, if Austria was as aggressive, if we were playing Salzburg... It'd be like fighting Austria. Because Bavaria is completely unchecked right now. All it takes apparently is one fort, and they can completely shut out Bohemia from reinforcing these fights. Yep, the fort system at work. All right, you know I, have, what's, I have, know what's weird, though? They're, the fort system is not blocking anyone. We should be able to walk from... Oh, that's not true. It is. Never mind. It is. Stupid forts. We should, right now, be able to take, like, if, if Bohemia can get their morale up. I wish they had a better general. We could just march on that army in Straubing. The 17, 18 stack. Get, like, 25k troops over here. Just kill that thing, and then we're good. So, weird things have happened. France vassalized Navarra and full annexed him. But while he had Navarra as his vassal, he granted the core of Laborde to Navarra. And now, because England had rebels, England was forced to release Navarra in Laborde. And now Castile has peacefully vassalized Navarra in Laborde. <laughs> I don't know why France gave him that core. This is the weirdest campaign we've ever done. <laughs> it is. So, I'm going to, no, no. Am I going to siege Straubing? No. No, Bohemia's on his way back. Straubing is a dangerous province to try to siege because it's just, there's no defensive advantage. Being the aggressor into it would be fine. But um, they're sieging. They're standing forty thousand troops on Nuremberg. What the heck? Oh no, they're marching on. Okay. Man, this stinks. This really stinks, Arumba. Yeah, we both thought this was a good idea, right? It's not just me. It's not just you. We're taking attrition, by the way. Is he actually attaching to us? Look at this! God damn it! Now he's attached to us. Now he's like, okay, maybe I'm not so good at this. Maybe I should let you lead. <laughs> Are we going to fight in Nuremberg? That's woods. No, we're just moving to a province that has higher supply for now. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I think we got to march. Trier Cologne, that's a separate war. We don't care about that 12 stack that's sieging down the planet. 
No, we don't really want to siege down either of these things. What can we do to like get we the need, war we need, to, we need to get his allies out of the war. We got to get Wurzburg and Mainz out of the war. We can reach them right now. But that's not defensive terrain. If we go park the army in those provinces. And no, we can't march to those provinces. He's not following to... you anymore. <laughs> yeah. Of course not. You. <laughs> you stupid little... Just come with us to Wurzburg. Come no. with us. We're just... He doesn't want to. By the way, Nuremberg's almost out of the war. His walls are breached. This is so bad. I guess we take the idea, right? Yep. Because <laughs> that's going to solve all our problems. It just did. Everything's fine now. Oh, England's golly. fighting. England's actually defeating Austria. Look at that. The Battle of uh, Carnton. Good job, England. Hey, hey they'll, they'll let us peace out right now. They just demand our full annexation. Oh, okay. Even though they haven't sieged us down. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that, that would mean we could restart. That'd be nice. I don't know if we should do something like that. Do you really want to restart a campaign after we've done six videos? We've never restarted before. Maybe it's time we do. I think that a, a personal union from France over Austria is so rare and BS that uh, it's completely ruined this campaign. <laughs> what is Nuremberg doing? Nuremberg. <laughs> Nuremberg. <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, he's not fighting? Wait, what? Did he peace out? No. It's Salzburg. Oh, they have like the same flag. Goodness. Yeah, wow, it is really similar. Okay, 21%. Are we just going to let Nuremberg get out of the war? Like, no, just hold accepting on. this? They have like nearly identically the same flag. Mm -hmm. It's so like red, red with light, white lines, mm -hmm. and like a little yellow thing on the side. Mm -hmm. You know who else has similar flags? Ferrara and Ulm. They used to be the same flag, actually. Whoa, we got full next. Did you peace what? out? What? <laughs> you peaced out. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, he well, sent a stab hitting peace offer. Didn't you see it? No. And so I said yes. <laughs> God damn it. This is a stupid campaign. You gotta start over. We should try again. I, I think I think we should caveat that um, we're both terrible at this game. So if you're looking for, you know, some type of decent gameplay where you might learn something and gain some understanding of the game, this is not the, the right tack team to watch. We are bad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll go with that. I mean, our opening move, like our strategy was, was fine. I, I don't think there's anything wrong whatsoever with what we were trying to do. It's just that uh, this, the cards all got... Like, look at freaking Bavaria! I'm in spectator mode right now, by the way. Are you? Can you? Or did you leave? Oh, I didn't. Okay, I'm okay. in spectator too. Ooh, like Bavaria, no longer a free city of the Empire. Aww. Bavaria has blobbed the hell out. I mean, yeah, unchecked. He's done well for himself. You know, it's good to see that he declared a war on Salzburg. And the annexation of Salzburg would have given him a coalition, and he decided he didn't want the coalition. It's good to see the AI making decisions like that. Mm -hmm. But it's also good to see the AI making decisions like when you're England, um, park your entire army in Austria. Um. Yes. Do you see what's happening in Polzin? Look at Polzin. Okay. Again, you're using words that I don't. Where is Polzin? Next Polzin. to Prague. Spell... Next to Prague. Okay. Ulmer separatists. Bohemia's so killing he is, us. He's killing our army now. He's a bastard. Nice. <laughs> oh, Bohemia the traitor. Anyway, Wait, did, did that right. give did that give Bavaria a coalition? 36. No. Enough time has gone by that annexing us did not give him a coalition. Damn. No, I, I think we like uh, maybe, maybe that could be our final our final, you know, stab at, at Bavaria was making him get a coalition, but nope. <laughs> he's fine. No, I think I think what we could have done better is if um if if Austria stays the emperor, we would probably keep trying to ally the emperor. Um and if and then we could just we could freely attack. You know, we'd have the protection of an emperor that could actually defend us. And we wouldn't be quite so desperate for weak allies. You know? I, I'd like, be willing to try this again. I think we could do better. I do too. All right. So we'll be back tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow. Same, same tax time, time, same tax channel. All right.
Thanks for watching, everyone. We're sorry. <laughs> Look at him. He's coring us. Disappointed. Disappointed. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.